it's on. Okay, good. Let's put the whole swamp underwater. That ought to do it. back there. Maybe I could hotwire it and... I don't care what's happened to your head. You useless pisswit. Make sure you get the old cow on the phone. I'll look for that bastard. Options. I can wait here for the police and then explain to them for hours on end what's going on here. Or I can lay a trap for Tom and then steal his car. Okay, let's hope everything works as planned. Stay where you are! Don't move or I'll shoot. <laughs> and I bet that'd be the highlight of your last five minutes on Earth. Tom. Get me out of here! Huh, why should I? Weren't you gonna shoot me just now? I wanna get out of here! Then throw your weapon into the swamp and give me your car keys. I... I'll... You'll what? Die in utter misery? There. Now get me out of here. Not so fast. What's going on with Angelina? Is she involved with all this? I've already told you. I don't know any Angelina. Yeah. I'm inclined to doubt that. She was only in the village a few days ago. Then I didn't see her. You would certainly have noticed her. One more time. I don't know any Angelina, and there was nobody sniffing around the village either. Except you. Okay? Throw me a bloody rope, will you? Or something or other. Who ordered you to kidnap me? You're supposed to pull me out of this! Was it this secret society? I don't know anything about a secret society. The Order. That means nothing to you? Yeah. Okay. I was supposed to find you, knock you out, and bring you here. And then? She was going to call me on the phone and give me further instructions. She? A woman. Sounded quite old. No idea who she is. And she didn't want me staying in Willow Creek? Yeah. I was supposed to bring you here as soon as possible. Do you know who belongs to the Order? No idea. I've only ever seen these nutters over by the mine. They were wearing masks. I don't know who they all were. All right, then. I'm gone. The police will be here soon. Get me out of here! Why? Do you seriously believe you're gonna be sucked to the bottom? Idiot. Excuse me, sir. There's been a letter delivered for you. Who delivered it? I don't know. It was in the hotel's post box. But there's no stamp on it, so it must have been delivered personally. Oh. Thanks. Hey, it's from Angelina. Dear Darren, I haven't been completely honest with you. 
I've been concerned with Willow Creek and Black Mirror for some time, and it was you I was looking for at Biddeford. I stumbled upon something there that I don't want to write about here. I can only tell you this much. You are in danger. There's a group of people who are out to kill you. They were already after you alone. They caught me here in Willow Creek. I managed to escape, and I've been hiding in a safe place since then. I found out today that you are here. I'll explain everything to you and hope that you will forgive me. I know that you'll forgive me when you know the dreadful truth. Come to the old lighthouse tonight at 11 o'clock. Make sure that no one follows you. I'll explain everything to you there. Together we can put an end to this whole thing. Take care of yourself and trust no one. You don't know who might belong to the Order. Angelina. Angelina's alive. That's the good news. But what kind of a game is she playing? Can I trust her? She lied to me. She knew about this place the whole time. <laughs> and I'm sure she wasn't unfamiliar with Reginald Boris either. The question is, what side is she on? What's she up to? Either way, I'm gonna find out this evening at the lighthouse. But I should take some precautions. The only place where I'll get a few honest answers is in the Chronicle of the Gordons. Once I know which role the Order plays, perhaps I can deduce what game Angelina's playing. I've got to find a way to read the Chronicle in the museum. Excuse me. Hi. Um, I've just arrived in Willow Creek. Uh, have you got any tips for me? Is there anything worth seeing? Are you also a tourist? Uh, yes. You could say that. Well, we actually wanted to take a look at the notorious sanatorium today. But some kind of freak has made a hotel out of it. And the guy at the reception tried to pawn us off with some cheap tourist rubbish. Like, we were thrill seekers. Exactly, Albert. And then he said that the ghost and this Samuel Gordon still haunts the castle. You can see him at night at the windows of the burned wing. Really spooky. <laughs> Laughable. Anyway, we came here afterwards. We'd expected a bit more from.